welcome to Thought Sauna. I'm Brett. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Hanrahan. And I'm Sam. Grizzly. I am one time runner up on Guts and one time Agricrag winner, season four, Cyan <laughs> Haskins. My God, thank you for coming on the program. You're a celebrity. <laughs> God, I never thought I I'd see one in person. Nickelodeon guts. You're you're the true athlete. Yeah, I was I was on season two and I got one runner up, which was good. But they invited me back on season four uh, after yeah. some training, and I I won, and I you had got, the agar crag, and it's been in my it was, uh, this, it's been in my that house was training with for my when, parents. Been in my two apartments when I moved out to L.A. and yeah, yeah, it's in my mansion. That was right your now. training for the next American Ninja Warrior season, right? Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll be airing in a couple of months now. I filmed that. I just finished filming that one. Do you get an aggro crag for that too? Or is that like something else? Unfortunately, something you don't different? get an aggro crag. Nothing can really beat the aggro crag. And that was kind of where I peaked. But yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to just my retirement. Yeah. And when you retire, you'll be able to listen to this podcast where we talk about dreams, shower thoughts, and laws. There you go. It's, someday it's gonna get really good one day you'll be able to remember the podcast concept you came I'll up be, with one day i'll remember stuff i think <laughs> one day you'll be able to remember your child yeah i have a child wait sam what <laughs> <laughs> where is it's he? me brett i'm your kid <laughs> slamuel <laughs> that's right i've been disguising myself this whole time it's me Slamuel Sizzly. Uh, I don't like son. that. You know what? I don't like Slizzly. I think I remember now when when you were born. I was like, let's give him a different last name. Also, <laughs> Slamuel <laughs> Slizzly. So anyway, who wants to go first this week? Without further ado, let's get on to the good stuff. Uh, Sam, why don't you go first? I vote someone else should go. I feel like mine should be more in the middle or end of the episode. Okay, I don't like how that... That I don't gives like me that. a bad feeling. <laughs> that's, that's bad. I don't, I don't think we want to... We don't want to... We've started the podcast so often with a... You're right, we started theme. the last episode really bad. No, no, it's... It, we started... Each episode seems to start with us having, like, an adult-themed thing. I'd rather... This one started somewhat differently. Uh, okay. okay, so you got the adult theme thing for this episode. Yes, I you do. You want it somewhere else. It's a first. It's a first. Great. All right, well, let's, let's start on this little train of thought. I got the dream. This is from Dr. Nope on Reddit. Uh, it says, I once had a dream where I owned a very popular nightclub where all these celebrities came, and Jim Halpert from the U.S. office was my friend. Dwight oh. Schrute was dancing amazingly as well. Okay. So this does he is... mean the actor who played Jim Halpert? No, or just like, like actual straight Jim, up Halpert. Jim Halpert. Yeah, there's no actor for Jim Halpert. Sam, that's a that's a documentary. There is the Office is a documentary, so I don't know what you're talking about. But it's this very fun nightclub, office themed nightclub. Is it office themed, or what? Did Jim Halpert and Dwight Schrute just happen to be there? No, they happen to be there, but I want to imagine that it is office themed and everyone is dressed as either, you know, Dwight Schrute or Jim Halpert. Or and there's no other... music. There's no music. The it's lights just, are on. It's... No, no, it's just and the music that's playing is actually just Dwight Schrute saying beats over and over yeah. in a steady rhythm. So it's just well, beats, 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 beats. But then, beats, but then it gets beats, a little more beats. intimate and he just kind of goes beats just randomly and you don't you never know when it's coming you just then it's like beats beats beats, beats. beats. but wait beats. but there is always a very distant very reverby very bass boosted <laughs> and that's that's where the nightclub part comes in okay it is the... so it's it's a rave i okay. sure but with the lights on but with the yeah, it's a lights on rave. So Jim is friends with the person who is the creator and owner of this fine establishment. Yeah, Dwight Schrute has no, uh, no confirmed relationship with the owner, but apparently is dancing super well. Do you think the owner is thinking for a second, maybe I'll buy this guy a drink? Uh, <laughs> maybe she has a crush on Dwight. 
Yeah. My question is, where is Michael Scott? Dead. Because I so don't I think... really want to be with him <laughs> in a nightclub. They killed him off already, huh? He, yeah, he died. No, he's got to be Oh, yeah, somewhere. it's Will Ferrell now. It, it was Will Ferrell for, like, two episodes. <laughs> no one is the... It's, it's Andy. It's Andy. It was... Andy is the CEO. Not the, the CEO. He's the manager. The manager of the branch. Or branager. Robert California is the CEO. The branager. The branager, as they say. As they he manages it. the brand. Maybe. Not the brand. Duh. The brand. As in, like, the type of oats. Yeah. Yeah, the, the oats paper. Welcome back to Thoughts Anna. <laughs> Today we have. To... <laughs> Look, I couldn't, I couldn't find. I a need good to dream. talk more about this oats themed office. Yeah, this oats themed rave, well lit office. It's a. Nightclub. There's no. All the lights are on, and they're all fluorescent. Because people got to do work. Yeah, they're still doing. They're still taking about... calls, and yeah. they're still selling paper. I want to talk about oats. We, office. Sam, we can't we, keep going on. It's not a oats. rich vein. The there's oats no, fist. There's nothing good there's in the oats. There's nothing in the oats to talk about. What do you know? The Tell me everything fist. you know about oats right now. What? Tell me everything. I know so much about oats. How dare you? They are plants. Mm, this is a bad episode. <laughs> <laughs> Oats. We can can't we, talk uh, about oats. All right, can we can we make it a rule that we can't say it's a bad episode until fifteen minutes in? Because <laughs> we we gotta get somewhere before we declare that. Well, I've already Lots declared it. Lots of things eats oats. You're so stuck on the oats thing. So the well lit office party. Yeah. The well and oats just rain oh, down from the my ceiling. God. Like oh my god! What are you talking? Are you eating oats right now? This is that is what you're on? Two. Oh my god. <laughs> we call this nightclub the Oats Fis Facility. The Oats Facility? In New Hampshire. That's, well, that's good because it could be a cover. Uh, for what I was thinking, Michael's in there because he's like the head On of the mafia. Oat farm. That this mafia. club is a, yeah, that this club is a front door. Oh, oh okay. The he's part of the mafia. paper mafia. Yeah. Oh shit! He's in that real paper. Oh right shit! Uh. <laughs> Welcome back to Thoughts Anna, a podcast with only two members. Yeah, <laughs> we got rid of the oats and an one. oat. One single oat. <laughs> Episode two on, he wouldn't stop talking about oats, so so we fired him. We had to get rid of him. <laughs> oat sauna, but then you just kind of get oatmeal. Yeah. Yeah, wet, soggy oats. Fun oatmeal. Well, you don't eat dry oatmeal. All right, you don't Sam. tell me what the oh. fuck I do. I'll throw you a bone. In this, in this nightclub, there is free oatmeal. You can just kind of get it out of, like, a Gatorade kind of... Thank you. Acknowledgement was all I wanted. Yeah. I can stop on the oats now. There you go. Thank God. There's oatmeal you everywhere. You released me from my curse. Oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> we can move on. This person was dreaming. Of oh, I them. forgot it was a dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if they were Michael? Oh. The person was Michael? Yeah. What if my it was Michael Scott's dream? What if and Michael he was Scott's like, damn, dream. Dwight's really killing on the dance floor. I'd better buy him a drink. Yeah, I better buy him some oats. D Dwight's realizing, wait a minute, after all these years of him being me. assistant regional manager. It wasn't manager, me this time. I assistant realize, to the regional manager. I realize Dwight's kind of daddy. He's got the balding oh, thing right. going on. He's got the glasses. And this is where and cut, and this is where I cut back uh, after cutting that thing you said out. <laughs> what, the thing about Daddy Dwight? All right, so I guess it's time for my law. It's time for the it's time for the next section of this podcast, which I guess Sam so gladly wants to take. And I swear to God, if the word oats is involved, if there's any oats in here, you are immediately banned from talking for the rest of the episode. <laughs> no, it doesn't involve that. Thank God. <clears throat> this law actually comes from the great state of Oregon. Oh. Mm. In this great 
fur tree state. It is illegal to whisper dirty things in your lover's ear during sex. <laughs> what? I want to know who. Who? What? I want to know what happened to make this law happen, and who's monitoring it. <laughs> They're like, I just have Jeff here, honey. Don't worry about Jeff. He's just gonna be watching. He's not gonna, you know, he's not gonna. He's not going to bother us. Wait, so hold on. So, like, SVU, the sex crimes unit, or whatever, you know, like, is that a Ice sex crime? Ice-T is going to bust down your window and be like, you whispered dirty nothings into your partner's ear. I You're under arrest. Maybe, maybe the SCU is jealous that they aren't being whispered to them. Yeah, maybe that's it. They, or okay, I would like, I would like to be like, they're go two people are going hard and heavy, and they're like, "Yeah," and then the guy leans down and whispers. One of the, the the person on top leans down and whispers, "Oh, I'm just gonna fuck you so hard," mm -hmm. and then suddenly handcuffs are slapped on his wrist, and he's like, "Yeah, kinky," <laughs> and then suddenly there's a gun to his head, and he's and his partner is like, Kinkier. "We got you, freeze!" Oh, his partner, and it turns out the whole time. It was a bust, and his partner was was a cop that went undercover. We know, we know, you've been whispering stuff into your lover's ears. We finally caught you, the the oh. organ whisperer. I do want to take a second to say, did you just say SCU? Yeah, the sex crimes <laughs> unit. You know what SVU stands for, right? What special victims unit? They just work at the sex crimes committee. I wanted to make my own acronym. That's fair. I. But the way you said that, if you had whispered that into someone's ear, it would have been considered dirty Girl, language. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! You're cuffed. Episode's over because you're cuffed. But uh -oh. who was my so, lover? So, it was one of the so listeners. If, say one of our listeners is in Oregon, right now, and I were to whisper that, like that scenario where I whispered, "I'm gonna fuck you so hard." If they're wearing headphones, does that count as me whispering dirty things into their ear? Could you get could arrested, arrested for that? Like, would they be able to drive from Oregon, like the cops, to Texas to arrest you? Which one of you has to be in Oregon? Who, wait, who gets arrested? Both of them or one of them? The Whisperer, the Whisperee, or both? I think the Whisperer. Even the Whisperee Hold gets on, in trouble. you guys. <laughs> Even the cop who listens to it this gets in make... trouble. Hold on. Does this make ASMR illegal in Portland? You know what, dude? That wow. Now we're getting somewhere. Now, now we're getting the fuller picture here. Someone, someone's getting cracking down on ASMR in Oregon. That's probably why this law was created. This is this is so the end the in the in the ASMR cartels or the ASMR. <laughs> the ASMR. What what is the bigger plot here? What what is the big scandal? Why are they so mad about this? Why like, are they why are they all twisted up about fucking maybe <laughs> maybe whis sex sexy whispering? A <laughs> another another thing. Maybe they made it to illegal to try and force human evolution. What? Uh, they made it illegal to whisper into your partner's ears. It's not illegal to telepathically communicate your dirty words to your partner. You know what? That's the only other alternative. Oregon's one step ahead of us. Oregon's Drat. on another level. Shit. Because I was going to suggest, you know, obviously the other way you get around this is by screaming sweet nothings into your yeah. lover's ear. So you're just like <laughs> announcing them like, I'm going to fuck you. I hope you're ready for this dick. Do you like that, you dirty bitch? This veiny thing is gonna be in there. My wrinkly ET uh, dick is coming in. <laughs> no. Call back. No, but I like this telepathic thing. You, if you want to survive in Oregon, you got to learn how to communicate through the mind. Another, another thing that supports my theory of Oregon trying to force human evolution is another one of their laws. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know you had a second one. Give it to me. I did. And this is, this, this is why I picked that law. There is a law in Oregon that drivers cannot pump their own gas. What? What? So if you're driving that, alone, you're fucked if you run out of gas. So my theory is that they are putting in, enforcing these laws so that 
technically, if a driver uses telekinesis to mm. f- you, to move the handle, yes, and fill up their truck car, they cannot be prosecuted because they technically didn't fill up their car physically. They used their mind powers. They used their chakras to move it themselves. So they are ergo. Oregon is forcing human evolution. Sam, I think you're right on the money. What are the two things that you wish you had telepathic mind powers for in this world? Filling up my car. And sex. And And sex. Well, just the whispering. Telepathic sex. That's That's basically phone sex. I I imagine telekinetic sex. Yeah. Where you don't yeah, okay. need to use your but they, muscles they, to move. Okay, I'm reading another law, but and it may be like they don't want the human species to evolve too quickly. Hmm. Because this law says one may not test their physical endurance while driving a car on a highway. What does that what mean? The fuck? What physical endurance? What do you mean? Are they lifting weights? <laughs> what is going on? Why is Clearly, it... they're, they're trying to force human evolution, but at a controlled rate. What so happened to make it... that law, like, needed? Wait a second, I know what it was. That law was from, like, the Stone Age. Back when people were driving their cars with their feet. You're so right. It was forced evolution back in B.C. They were forcing people to think of other, like, well, how am I supposed to get around in my car if I can't use my feet to pedal forward? And then they invented gas. They, yeah, they were like Einstein back in BC. The BC Einstein was like, wait a minute, y'all. There's this thing called that I just made up. I think I'm going to call it gasoline. And also every single so part. So what to a you're car. saying is Oregon hasn't just recently been on the forefront of human evolution, but has always been a human evolution power. I think we it's, got exactly. to where we were because of Oregon. If it wasn't for Oregon, we would all be amoeba. We would all still oh be in that dirty, dirty amoeba water. My god, you're right. What's next? Only they know. Only we have, Oregon knows. <clears throat> fuck driving to Area 51. We gotta go to Oregon. Yeah. We, we gotta, gotta go break to Portland. In, we gotta break it's... into the Portland database to figure out what the fuck is going on. I actually think this might be the plot of the Portlandia TV show. <laughs> You know what? I was just thinking that. It all makes sense. Like, what level is that guy on? Ooh, Fred, Arm- <laughs> Fred Armisen knows more than fact, we think he knows. One of, one of the secrets of Oregon is that they don't tell you is that when they move to, is that when you move to Oregon, they give you a power level reader, like in Dragon Ball <laughs> like Z. Like a scouter? To where you, yeah, a scouter. <laughs> so that you can, you can tell just how powerful that person is. It, it, in Oregon, until you can go spe- Super Saiyan. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you oh, have God, it, folks. Guys. Jesus Christ. Watch out. You got to watch these laws. Invest in Oregon stocks. <laughs> Oregon is so far evolved, they don't have a stock market. They don't need it. They have a moneyless economy. They have a what? A moneyless economy. Yeah. Like in Star Trek. They, they trade in... They trade in mine tokens. Exactly. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oregon runs on good deeds and nice vibes. In That's the their economy. Future. All right. Well, I think it's about uh. All right, it's about time that for time. that last segment. So this is a uh, shower thought. This is from. The real coin boy, 66. And they're communicating it to us through their mind powers in Oregon. Yes, he yeah. is at, he's currently in Oregon. The real coin boy. Is he whispering it? 66, Oregon. No, that's illegal. Yeah. Idiot. No, he's not whispering it. Like I just said, he's using his telepathic evolved human powers that Oregon granted him to speak it to us directly. Are we are all receiving fool? this message. I'm sorry. God. So this one is actually kind of about human evolution in a way. Um... It says, in movies and stories and such, aliens seem so unified as a species. However, humans can't agree on how to write the date. Oh. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. And to extend on that, in the same vein as, like, we can't figure out how to all, like, write the date in the same way, fucking, we refuse to use the metric system. 
Yeah, and America Celsius. is an outlier. Like we, no one can, we humans can't agree on it, but to do fucking anything. We were like, well, that universal okay, here's the thing. system of measurement. Nah, let's make it difficult. Humans go to war with here. other humans. <clears throat> Aliens don't do that yeah. shit. Apparently, aliens well, are all together. The thing on the, here's the thing on the Cer- Celsius Fahrenheit argument. Yeah, the reason. Please expand on that so, one. <laughs> Celsius. <laughs> Celsius is the measure of heat in terms of like water. Like zero is freezing point, freezing point. One hundred is boiling point. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Fahrenheit is measured in is measured by the comfort level to humans. Okay. Hmm. But that's very objective. Everyone else uses Celsius. Yeah. So like why? Yeah. yeah. That well, that's because like Fahrenheit is a very subjective one. What I suggest we use is Kelvin. Yeah. From Calvin and Hobbes. Anyway, no, fuck off. aliens and humans. That was the that was the Sam education corner. Thanks for thanks you for want... teaching, Sam. I, I, I like to sometimes prove that I do have actual knowledge and not just wild theories about <laughs> no. Oregon's human evolution and Santa Claus being a ninja theory. No, we get it, Sam. You're still in college. We get it. We, you're you're a you're a student. You're a you're a learning individual. Yeah, not like us. I am the, a student the, the, of the, the world. The big Han shows. The college graduates. You guy, yeah. You guys all went to school too. We all we we already have yeah, telepathic we're done. And telekinetic powers. We finished. When you get your if you, when you get your degree, of, you also get organ powers. Yeah. Speaking of evolution, did you know that the same muscles that allow humans to communicate like we do? apes and monkeys don't have and that's why they can't speak like a like a language like we do like the little tiny muscles in their mouths don't work like ours yeah they work differently however those muscles in our mouths increased our choking chances i'll take that to so, speak yeah i'm okay with that so, i yeah. haven't ha- choking hasn't somewhere been too de- big of a deal in my life yeah so, somewhere in our evolution our ancestors decided it was more important to talk to each other rather than not choke to death. I don't see. I don't see how lip muscles makes it so monkeys can't nope, choke. Not lip muscles. Like it's in your throat. Yeah. Oh. You know where your vocal cord. Okay. I was thinking. I was the muscles that monkeys plane. can use to vor, but we can't. And we go back to the alien thing. <laughs> the alien thing. Welcome to the vor we podcast. Hi everybody. Welcome to vor sauna. Not good. Gross. Not good. What was the what was the shower thought again? Like, yeah, let me go ahead. I've and never you've never seen like an alien civil war. Movie. Alien seems so unified as a species. Humans can't even agree on how to write the date. Yeah. Okay. Another thing. Jesus Christ. Is it? No, this is on the topic. This is on the topic. Okay. We always view aliens as like when they come to us, they're like, "We will invade you. We are far superior in our militant power." I don't know why that's why aliens sound like. No, you're that's spot what on. They always sound like in a movie. You got it. But, like, they, in the movies, they always come in, like, military. But the thing is, we base that off ourselves because humans have always been like, we need the most potential weapon, or the most potent weapons. And then we're like, what about medicine? And that can come later. But, or, like, what about rather than weapons, we spend it on transportation? Nah, weapons first. Like, nah, I want to kill people more. Yeah. What if aliens evolved on a separate mindset where they're like, hey, we should invest more on transportation and communication rather than weapons. So, like, aliens that could be, like, travel the stars at light speed are still only using, like, primitive pistols for weapons. Because they invested more in travel. Well, here's the thing. I think aliens are smarter than that. If they're smart enough to think this way, I think they're smart enough to know if we go to Earth, these motherfuckers, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to shoot us the fuck down with a missile. (laughs) So we got to, like, we got to step it up. I think that's why aliens have militaries, because they're like, if we go to Earth, those motherfuckers are going to kill us. Like, we've seen those guys. So aliens have militaries purely because they're like, oh, humans are the worst. Yeah. And I can't argue them on that. They have weapons only because we're a mess. And Sam, I don't think that that's how like advancement works. I don't think they're traveling through the stars at light speed, and they're like, "Is there any way we can like get rid of threats than killing than throwing a rock at them?" Eh, I don't know. 
let's just let's just well, go back no. to like friggin you know traveling the stars well no they could like they they could be they're like what i'm saying is maybe not that extreme but like definitely by far they're more focused on travel and communications technologies rather than whereas humans are like war 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 yeah war 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 yeah all right fuck off Get how dare out you of here shoot Get out. Shoot. Are we all getting fired on this episode? <laughs> Brett fired I'm both of us. I'm firing everyone. It's only <laughs> me now and Dwight Schrute. Everyone welcome Dwight Schrute. Beats. <laughs> I love it. Beats. Beats. I love that guy. Beats. Ah. Beats. Beats. Oh no, Beats. look at all those oats. They're falling from the sky. This was Aliens a really are attacking us with the... oats. This was a really You're good second making... episode, you guys. <laughs> You're the one making the oats jokes now. I think it's a great one. I personally think this is a fantastic one. Well, I, yeah, I guess we are past the 15 minute mark. So this is when you would say that this is a terrible episode. I think it's reference. a fantastic episode. Okay. I think this is a great episode. I think it worked out swimmingly. We're not done yet. Oh, okay. Oh, don't you worry. Because the, the, the aliens that get to the other aliens first are going to have the more advanced transportation technologies, obviously. Right. Yeah, but and I mean, then they impress them with peace talks. Yeah, we'll impress them with TED talks. I oh, said peace talks, not I, talks of war. I thought Sam said like pea stalks, like fucking like little like you know peas in a pod. Oh, that's why I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <Peace>. <laughs> that's most. That's what everything's fueled on for the aliens. Are those little pea stalks? I was like, yeah, pea stalks. You know, super fucking impressive. <laughs> whoa watch out <laughs> no yeah i do like the idea of aliens coming down and like building a stage and giving us a ted talk i think that'd be the best way I, to again i said convey. peace talks not yeah, talks. No, ted ted talks talks said, and war. But... no ted talks are are the war crime ted talks are a war crime what what tangent They're are you against on? the geneva con convention <laughs> i'm literally just spewing out nonsense yeah, just like usual. That's why you're on here, Sam. <laughs> like, what else is new? My 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 uh my vocabularium is <laughs> Sam either spews absolute shit or actually says something smart. Well, that remains to be seen, doesn't it? I thought I, I no, you made some, you made some salient points, Sam. Yeah, you made some good old oi, o, o points. You made oints. some good oint, oint points. Oint points. You got some <laughs> oints on you. So, every, okay, so from now on, every time we, I, I say something that's, like, actually smart or well thought out, we're going to award me an oints points. Yeah, I'll give you an oint point, and I'll, like, give you a little chime to indicate. I want you to mark, I, I made two points today. I want you to mark that down. Like, literally write it down. I'm putting it in my fucking phone right now. You may put it on the board. We haven't given yeah. you any yet, so hold on. Yeah, hold on just now. Just you wait a second. You know, we'll give you one just for, just for, you know, whatever happened today. And we'll put it up on the dry erase board we have over in the office. So, yeah, we'll, 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 keep, we'll, we'll don't worry. We'll, get, we'll keep track of that. Sam, you are the sole bearer of all the oints points. Congratulations. Do, we don't got points. Thank you. No, we don't have points. Yeah, we just got, I don't know. IQ I numbers. vote from now on whenever someone brings up a valid argument. Uh, a valid like thing that's not absolute nonsense we give them an oint point okay and at the end of the season whoever has the most oint points <laughs> gets like, right they get 10 it's minutes like the house uninterrupted talking great <laughs> it's almost it's like a punishment. the house cup it's like the house cup for <laughs> harry potter you're being discouraged to be smart better. on this show yeah if you make a valid point you're like well that's two oint points like shit I don't have anything to talk about for 10 minutes straight. <laughs> and as the season Boy, concludes, you're on. like, ah, oh, fuck. Nah, jeez. How many episodes are in a season for us? Dude, I don't know. Um, dude, we're literally recording that's, the that's second episode later. right now. I vote... 12. 2, because that puts me ahead. <laughs> so you can win now? Yeah. <laughs> two episodes is a season, folks. One whole yep. hour, that's it. Alright, this is the season finale. Check out season two of fucking Thoughts on a next week, I guess. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
All right, I think this was a good episode. I think we covered a lot of ground. We did a good job. This we is did. the end of it. We didn't come up with a dang outro again. That's fine. Have a good time. Thank you for sitting in the thought sauna with us, the sweaty hosts. Sam, you want to say Keep something to get annoyed? On point? evolving. Yeah, we're all devolving. Try and pertain. Try and obtain Oregon levels of evolution. Thank you for joining me and my sweaty boys here in the thought sauna. We'll see you next week. Bring a towel. All right. Et, get out of this <laughs> sauna. I don't it. like seeing you sweaty. Et, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>